have so many sources of heat. Can you name one? Yes, teacher. Tell me. The sun. What is another source of heat? A, a candle light. A candle light? Yes, and what else? The kitchen. Oh, good job. Now, today I have an experiment with a candle. Let's see if a candle light can produce enough heat to melt some crayons. I have some crayons left over at home and I want to see, I'm going to use my senses to see there are different colors, different shapes and what I'm touching is hard. Okay, these are hard pieces of crayons. I want to see what will happen if I start putting on the candle that is heat what do you think will happen well we look at this I want you to take your piece of paper and draw your observations okay how they start and look at this process they are starting to melt what happened when they start to melt Look at those beautiful colors. Remember at the beginning they were solid. And now look at the changes. I need you to put these observations on your paper. Remember like a scientist, we always have to be careful. We cannot do this alone at home. And take your notebooks and Write it down your observation. What happened at the beginning? What is happening now that we add a different source of heat, like a candle light? You see the process? They're almost, all of them are almost melt. Can you see those beautiful colors? They start solid and now they are liquid. That is amazing. Do not touch it because you can burn your fingers. Look at that. A lot of color. Now I want to see this on your papers. Can you draw a picture about the crayons? How they look at the beginning? What happened in the middle of the process? And this is the end. Look at this. They are all liquid and they can be mixed. Now time to listen and talk to your teacher.